Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I'm just headed outside, so he's having a lesson at our home today. And I asked them to get some little donuts for the trainer and just to make it fun. And Sam just walked in and wrecked it. But I walked over, went to pick up the donuts, and I turned around. Every dog was sitting at my feet. They missed them. So Sam, you see, as soon as they see them, they're like, I'm here, and they were so quiet. So anyways, the trainer is gonna be missing four donuts. <laughs> because, we just give them the plain ones. Because they're, they're sitting so good. Sit down, sit. Be gentle. Good girl, she's so gentle. Uh-oh. Uh, sit the last time she had one she was so tiny don't don't mind her hair <laughs> is there another I should have split that one. Oh, that might be one lucky yeah this one bites my hand be nice and remember she can't hear be nice oh jeez. anyway good morning guys welcome to today's video I just heard Sam say come on Gabby you gotta work <laughs> because we need her help. Also, if nobody wants the donuts, I can give them to my my chickens and my turkeys. Sophie has asked us to bring some standards and more poles over to where she's gonna have lessons. Because I think she wants to start lady jumping a little. I don't know where everything is, like the standards and the the little cups and the little things that go in the cups. She might just get one standard today, but man, we got a lot more poles. This is gonna get dicey. This is why we need Gabby, because she's smaller and more help, more limber. Ah! The confusing thing is, is that we have lots of jump standards. I don't know where they all are though. I have two cups. So you think you're ready to jump, hey? We still need to go get you some new breeches. What? We jumped at the show. I know. So, ah, I'm tired. I just told Sylvie her saddle's dirty and she said, my saddle is not dirty. You guys tell me. Sophie's been doing a lot of stretches with Lady to keep her limber and keep her good. When I stretch one of her legs, she lifts up her other leg too and like stretch this one. Yeah, she lifts up one leg, she stretches one leg and then before she even puts the other one down, she's trying to get the other one up because she loves to be stretched. She tried it up to me in the field? Yeah, because it's been a couple of days since she's been ridden. She's, she's like, like, what? Where what? did you go? What? You yeah. <laughs> so someone posted a comment recently and I loved the comment. It made so much sense to me. Like it, she said it so much better than I could say it. But basically she was trying to say like, lady's head, She's been doing one discipline her whole entire life and her head, she has like that high head carriage and it's a process to get that to be lowered and to get all the muscles. She's got all the muscles built up under here. So now we got to get them built up here and let these ones kind of go. So it's going to be a process and she's relaxing her head more. She is relaxing her head more and more and more. But her head relaxed. Yeah, that's her head relaxed. She doesn't, it doesn't go down much further. But this girl said, like, don't, no matter, look, my glasses got dirty and now the camera keeps trying to focus on my glasses. But anyway, she said, no matter what you do, don't try and force it down. And we actually have no intention of doing that. Like, just let it be a process that it comes down naturally. She so she, she can, too. yeah, she's like, hey, Sophie showed me a picture of her and she's like, let me see it. <laughs> I'm literally bringing all the stuff. I hope the turkeys come down. There's one turkey over there. Not all the turkeys come out yet. Oh, when we got Lady, we knew we wanted to bring her home versus board her for the summer because we love having horses at home with us. We love this. This is so much better. Sam hates driving in for lessons, so just as long as we can stay at home and lesson at home, we will, but when the time comes, we'll go back to lessons, which I love inside. I love barn lessons and I love at home lessons. They're both fun for me. I hear someone shooting. Something's getting shot. We got the poles, uh, Gabby, when Gabby gets here, I'll get her to set them up. Sophie's gonna walk around, get started. Let's get ready for a lesson. 
I hate that somebody's shooting down there though. That seems ominous. I can That sounds ominous too. Uh-oh. Trouble in paradise. Yep, she's destroyed that fence. Gabby, can you take Honey and lock her somewhere? She's just a troublemaker. Like, Sam, Sam, I'm telling you, you have to fix that fence, like, today. Because look at how bad it is. Somebody's going to get hurt. Look, I brought us a Open table. It. Oh. Open it, please. Her chocolate. Gabby's daily dose of chocolate. Gabby's main food group. is shooting. <laughs> she doesn't like to go. <laughs> She's going to Sophie. <laughs> she, you, you might as well go get a halter. Her ears are, are ha unhappy ears. She's like, I just really want to be in, a part of everything. You're going to have to lock her somewhere because she just comes back in. <laughs> Psych. I hear the sound of a porky little pig. Uh oh. <laughs> Sophie, you need to get your mini because I'm not dealing with this. Sophie, go get your mini. I will hold the horse. She's trying to get in. Oh, did she just come under the fence too? No. Life is crazy on the day by day farm, but we wouldn't want it any other way. Oh I don't get what the struggle was, but okay. <laughs> You know, Sophie says she doesn't get what the struggle was, but it's because she loves you. You gotta put her like, you know where to put her. She can't stay there. Oh, did you lock her in that section? Because if we put her back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yep, you're right. You got it. Lady has taught us a lot. She told, she teaches us exactly what she likes and what she doesn't like. It's been really good. It's been such. A lot of learning like every time you get a new horse there's a lot of learning to figure out what they need and what they like and she is such a good teacher you guys have seen how she like comes up to us and tells us if somebody's bothering her or if like something's wrong she does that under saddle too <laughs> there's that little mini she's trying to break in more fences now Timbits. yeah I got them for the lesson but where's my pig I heard her is she still here Oh, she ran off. Come here. She won't come in because... Come here! She's afraid of that thing. We got Gracie watching. Everybody's watching. Come on. Do you fit in that little space? Come on, I'll keep you safe. I like Posey watching lessons with me. Makes me happy. Posey may or may not have had her first donut ever. It's just a tiny donut. You think that you, because you told her that if she goes slow, you won't have to touch her face and you think she's listening? She loves my dog. That's my child. <laughs> Takes after me. All right, so far so good. We're loving this lesson. She's working on long and low. Relaxing, but it's a bit hot. So Sophie's already gone through how many waters? Two. Well, that's the second one. Second mm. one. Yay, Gabby's magic trick. <laughs> I can do that, give me. <laughs> Look, even Lady thinks it's fancy. <laughs> She's like, what is wrong with these kids? <laughs> oh my gosh, Gabby. You have a flat head. You're okay, walk forward. No, it's because my headphones. Oh, do you, did you have it on your headphones? Here, give headphones? me it, Gabby. Just wait, let's see if she can. I want to try it. Yeah, Come you on. should try riding with it on your head. Okay, that might kill me. Oh, no, it's not staying. Because it's at the back of her head. It's falling off. Oh, it, it's falling, it's falling. She's it's a true falling. princess. <laughs> she loves a bath, you guys, and she needed it. Anyway, so she got her saddle refit, fixed again. So anyways, we had it professionally done and it, it fits her perfectly. And it's Sophie's saddle, fits her. But we still have more plans for saddles. We just haven't announced it yet. It'll be coming in a future video. But for now, she got it resized and refit for her and it, it's looking good. Loves her neck done. Just put her face in the water. I know, she loves to put her face in the water. 
everyone that we know and everyone that sees them together is like, this is the right horse. This is the perfect horse for Sophie. Sophie gives her freezies. And treats, but she likes freezies too. She loves freezies. I really need to do some work with the goats. But man, it's scorching again today. I should have done it yesterday. I knew it. Should have got it done. Never put off what you can do today for tomorrow because it'll always be rainy or it'll be extra hot. I hate when chicken sunbays because I swear to God, every time I come across them, I think it's dead. She's okay. You're okay. Go ahead. Lay in the sun. Apparently this is the spot. <laughs> Another one came and laid down. But don't they look like they're hurt or they're dead when they sunbathe? Where their sandy area is where they sunbathe, it's in the shade right now. So they can't like dust bath and lay in the sun. They have to just lay in the sun. <laughs> so funny. So I saw a video yesterday. It's the first one I've ever seen like this. It was a teacher teaching children in school. And she was saying, teaching them that to know what you can say to people and what is offensive, there's a rule. And the rule is, if it's something that the people can fix in, somebody can change it in 30 seconds or less, then you can say it. It's, a, it's, it's no big deal, you can say it. But if what you're saying to them is going to take that person longer than 30 seconds to fix, then you should never say it. So like, if you wanna say like, oh my gosh, your shoe is untied, they can fix that in 30 seconds or relatively fast. If you wanna say, oh, you have something in your nose, I wanted to tell you they can they can fix that in 30 seconds but if you want to say something like you're overweight you need to lose weight they can't change that in 30 seconds or, or less so you shouldn't say it or another example is your hair's too long or your hair's too short then you shouldn't say that because they can't change it in 30 seconds or less or these are examples that the lady gave, not things that I'm making up. But anyways, it was just really interesting to me because I always struggled to say the right thing when I, especially when I was younger, like I always had the best intentions. And, but then there are times when I still say something and I think, oh, why did I say that? Because it just wasn't the right thing. But there's there's never ever any rules. But this lady had this rule. <laughs> it made so much sense to me. And I was like, why don't, like, why haven't they been teaching that all along? Like, why don't they teach that kind of stuff all the time? Like, basic things that are hard that people honestly don't know. Can you guys see that? A little tiny thing on the end of my finger, on the side of my finger that's swollen. This happens to me all the time. Like, every time I'm like digging in my garden or doing anything that's like with dirt and stuff. I always get an infection in there. This has happened to me probably four times in my whole entire life. The thing that's hard about it is that you have to poke it with a needle and get all the gunk out for it to feel good. And I literally have a bad back and it's hurt me for since I was in my 20s. I hardly ever complain. But this thing hurts so bad. Don't you know that you're beautiful?